This starts off the 31 days of Halloween with me, and we're starting off with an evil clown, or evil doll, not clown. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I'm applying a base right now of a little bit of white and flesh color. The white is paradise, the flesh is uh, fab. And we're just streaking this all over the face, and then I dab it on and, you know, make it a nice even coverage. Um... These videos are a little bit different from my past videos. I'm doing voiceovers on them. That's why you don't hear anything in the background. You may see lips move, and that's fine, because you don't need to hear what we're talking about anyways. So, I'm getting done with the base right now. And then we're going to move into using a little bit of black or a little bit of gray to apply onto the contours of the face and kind of define it a little bit. And I'm using Fab Dark Gray for this. And uh, I'm going around the chin line. And that way it uh, sharpens up the face and defines it out. Um, it's a little hard to see, but you can see the color going on. Bear with me because I haven't done these types of videos before. So this is something new to me. And I hope that it really works out better in the future. So, I've already made a few videos for this month, and I have more to go. This is the first one, and because I'm uh, not really knowing what I'm doing here, I also have a bonus video on this day, so look out for a second video today as well. Um, so, I'm just contouring the face. Now, I'm taking that same gray, and I'm going in, and I'm putting in shadows where the cracks would be on a doll face if it had cracked. This is just something that uh, I just thought about doing. I never really, you know, planned for it at all. I didn't know exactly how I was going to do it. But it came out looking pretty good in the end result. So now I'm going to make a hole in her eye and using that same gray, I'm going to start off with that. That way it gives me shadows that I can use whenever I go in with the black and outline it and fill it in. But it gives me uh, where I want the cracks to be and everything. It just makes it a little bit easier for me in the beginning. I use a sponge for almost everything I do in the very beginning. And I only use a brush for details. So the sponge, make sure it's a nice half circle. It needs to have a nice crisp edge. It allows you to really define out your base first and all the little details. So now I'm going in with a little bit of blush. I wanted to just pop in some color on top. So I'm using this metallic red by Wolf. And it's very dry on the sponge. So I'm just, you know, applying it on there as blush. Now I'm going in and I'm doing the eyes. And I decided to go with more of a uh, Bratz doll style eye with a cut crease and everything. So I'm using this nice purple by Fab. It's a nice dark purple. And I'm defining out the way I want the eye to look. I then went in with a little bit of blue. To help define it a little bit more. I wanted to make it really pop. So I put in some blue in there. And uh, just really made it pop out. I then went in with some black. And did a little bit of lining on the eye. Um, I think this is still the blue. <laughs> Not sure. But I wanted to do something a little bit different. So I wanted to give her. You know make her look really nice. And everything. So, yeah, that was the black that I used. So now that empty part in the middle, I'm using a little bit of Paradise White to fill in. And it just makes the eye pop. So, you could also use it as, say, a pupilless eye on a doll itself. Now I'm taking a little bit of silver and I'm going over the top of the purple and into the brow bone just so that I can give it a little bit of a highlight and kind of blend in that purple a little bit make it a little bit smokier and so it really defines it.
I really should have turned the head a little bit, because even I have a problem taking a look at this. I was putting in, <laughs> with the black, some eyelashes, and uh, lining the eye out and making it look really nice, which I forgot to apply mascara, so, you know, you can see a little bit of the white on the uh, eyelashes itself and a little bit of the tan uh, paint, but that's okay. So we do that, and I put a little bit of uh, lashes on the bottom. And I'm going to finish those up a little later. So now, with my hand in the way, I'm going and I'm outlining the hole in her eye. I tried my best to try to get my arm out of the way, but it was almost impossible, and I've got to figure out a better way of doing this so that I can see the face a lot better and uh, make it lit up a little bit more. So, in future videos, hopefully this will be better. Now I'm going to the other side, and I'm putting the cracks in on top of the shadows that I made with the gray earlier. And it kind of helps out, because it clearly it helps define it, and it makes it a little bit better. And I wish my hand wasn't in the way, so you could see this a little bit better. So... <laughs> I might have to strap my camera to my head. Bear with me. I should have turned the head a little bit more and painted a little bit better from the side. Now I'm lining underneath the eye with the black. And then I'm going to put in the rest of the lashes underneath it. So it gives it that doll-like appearance. And here I go making some really awkward eyebrows. I've been practicing this for a while, so, you know, it looks a little bit better than some eyebrows that I've done, but it's not the best in the world. And, uh, but this is also on a doll, so... Hopefully that works. <laughs> now I'm going to make a fake eyebrow where the crack is so you see partial so it makes it blend all together and that there was an eyebrow on the painted doll's face where the crack is and now i'm going in and i'm filling in that hole just using black being very careful around the eyes now i used a nice bright red color and this is also fab. And I don't fill in the whole lips. I make it a little bit smaller than the lips, so it gives it a pouty appearance. And I went above the lip line on the top, and just slightly below on the lower lip, just so it gives it a nice pouty look. She's rocking those lips. Look at her excitement. Going in with a darker red, which is also fab. It's more of a blood-like color. It's crimson. It's really deep. And I'm just trying to make the lips pop just a little bit more by... Uh, adding it around the edges. I then decided to add a little bit of blood to it. And the reason why is because this doll is evil. And so she's got flesh underneath this porcelain facade. So, you know, adding blood to your Halloween creature just makes it that much better. And I have several different ways that I do blood. With this, I do a stippling action and then a little drag and drop. Uh, it just makes it look a little bit better. Um, I also took the red and went around some of the cracks to make it look like it, she was bleeding from the cracks because the porcelain is her skin. And therefore, 
it has blood vessels right underneath it, and therefore it bleeds too. There is so much you can do with a doll face. Right here I'm putting in the specular highlights, uh, just making sure everything looks good and it pops out. But as I said, you can do almost anything you want with any of your creations and you can modify it any which way you feel like. So, you know, the cracks can be anywhere. You can have them going up the neck. You can have them coming from the hairline. You can do your eye makeup any which way you want in whatever colors. These were just the colors that I used. So, I hope you like it. If you do, give me a thumbs up down below. Now I'm just rambling on and talking because I have nothing else to do. Maybe I'll cut this out. Maybe I won't. You can see the excitement in her eyes. Now I apply a wig. Um, not sure how many videos I will have wigs for, but this is the only one I have a wig for at this time. So, it's one of my ratty old wigs that I have in my little makeup room. But it kind of helps out with that porcelain doll look. Kind of makes it look uh, like a monster high. A little bit but yeah she rocked that design she loved it look at those eyes she has trouble closing her eye that has the <laughs> black on it but there's the final product so thank you guys for watching like comment and share subscribe if you haven't and i'll see you in the next video thanks for watching again bye